Hi, this is NeedlePointers.com and today I'd like to show you how to make these cute fabric baskets. On the corners they have cam snaps to hold them together. So you can see each corner is just held together by a cam snap. These are quick and simple projects. You can make these fabric baskets in various sizes. This one here is a 6 by 6 by 2 inch high. This one is 4 inches by 10 inches by 1.5 inches tall. But I enjoy this size actually. I found that it's wonderful for holding my scissors and my rotary cutter. Fits in there just wonderfully. For the one I'm going to show you today, the finished size will be 8 inches by 8 inches by 3 inches tall. So it will be a little bit bigger than this one and a little taller. So we'll see how that one turns out. The things you need to make the basket will be two fat quarters. You also need some Pellon Craft Fuse. I am using Pellon 808. The other thing you need are the cam snaps. And I have a, a variety of colors here in my cam snap box. I bought these on Amazon in variety color packs. So you can buy single colors or variety colors. To install the cam snaps, I have this cam snap tool which helps to install them properly. And I will show you this later. Okay, so your first step is to cut your, fab your two fabrics from your fat quarters into the size you need for your ba your fabric basket. As I said, this fabric basket I will be making will be 8 inches by 8 inches by 3 inches tall, which is a little larger than this one. So when I'm cutting my fabric for this new basket, I, I cut my fabric 14 and a half inches by 14 and a half inches. You also cut a piece of Pellon the same size as the two fabrics. The next step to make the basket is to fuse your Pellon to the wrong side of the exterior fabric. Okay, as you can see, I fused the Pellon onto the back of the fabric. And you may be able to see I did cut the Pellon a little bit smaller than the fabric. I accidentally cut it 14 inches instead of 14 and a half. But that's okay because I just centered it on here and there's going to be a quarter inch seam allowance so it'll still all work out. The next step is to place your fabrics right sides together and then we will be stitching around the whole outside of the, the um, square at a quarter inch using a quarter inch seam allowance and leaving a three to four inch opening on one side. I'll be back after I've done that. So I've sewn all the way around the outside and I've left a three to four inch opening to turn the fabrics to the right side out. The next step is to clip the corners. You want to clip them close to the stitching but not over the stitching. Next we can turn it to the right side. So we want to push out the corners and I, I like to use a stick or a pencil or something and to get a nice squared corner. So as you can see I've turned it, I've pushed all the corners out. I've also flipped under the seam allowance here so I'm all ready to go with top stitching. What I'll do is I'll top stitch a uh, about an eighth of an inch from the edge all the way around and that will actually just close this opening up. So you don't have to hand sew it or anything. As you can see I've top stitched around the edge all the way around about an eighth of an inch from the edge. And this closed up the hole that we have. The next step is to figure out where to put your cam snaps. 
So I turn it so that the side that I want on the outside is facing down. Next, I'm going to fold it into a triangle in half. So I have a nice point here. Then I measure from the point down the sewn edge the number of inches you want for the depth of your box. So I'm making this box three inches deep. So I'm going to measure three inches down. I'll then put a pin just to mark where the three inches is. I forgot to mention earlier, if you'd like to see more photos of this project and written instructions, or to buy supplies for this project, please click the iCard or the link in the description of the video to visit our website, needlepointers.com. By visiting our website and purchasing supplies through our links, you can help us keep making more videos. So what I've done now is I've pulled out my cam snaps. I decided to go with this light green. So I need, for each corner, I need um, one set of cam snaps, which includes two of the point pieces and one of each of the other pieces. So I have them all lined up here. Next, we're gonna wanna put the cam snap for this one, I'm going to put it kind of towards the top. And on the other, on all of these, I did put them near the top, also. And I'm putting the edge of the snap along where the pin is. So I just push into the corner where I want to put this, where I feel like I want to put the snap to make an indent in the fabric. The cam snap uh, applicator tool comes with this nice little point so I can poke a hole through the fabrics. That shows me where to put my cam snap. I can take my pin out at this point and then open it up. I'm going to, on the outside, this is my outside fabric, I'm going to put the point piece of the cam snap through the hole. And then on the inside, I'm going to take one of the other cap pieces, and it doesn't matter which one, on which side, you just have to have, on each corner, you have to have an opposite one. I use the cam snap tool to squish it and install the cam snap. So there, it's one half. I'm going to take the other half of this set and install that one. And once you have the snaps installed, you can just snap them together. And there's the first corner. I'm going to continue and do this for the other four corners, or the other three corners. I've put the cam snaps on each of the corners. If you're unsure about the installation of the cam snaps, please click the i card and visit our website to and look for a link to the video that we did on how to install cam snaps. So now I have all four sides and my my bottom is kind of bowed a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this uh, ironing board. I'm going to measure up three inches and then I'm just going to iron the sides down. And actually this is done better when it's, un when it's unsnapped. I can just measure, I can measure like this, fold it up three inches and then I can iron this down. So I'll be back after doing that. So you can see with a bit of ironing, you get a nice crisp, crisp corner. I hope you enjoyed this project and you'll make many fabric baskets. 
they, they're so cute and they're useful. You can keep up with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and by following us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Google+. Visit our website by clicking the i-card to find the links to follow us. If you are on Pinterest, pin our projects to your wall. This is a great way to keep track of your favorite projects. Also, visit our website needlepointers.com to find lots of other craft projects and tutorials. <music>